All right, guys, welcome to our workout today. This is Lori with Fly Dog Fitness. Um, we are going to be doing a number of sets that are gonna be body weight sets today. The idea is gonna to be to get that heart rate up and keep it up for about five minutes at a time. So um, I know that doesn't sound like very long, but when you're constantly moving and not resting, you know, as much as you can during that five minutes, um, that should give us a pretty good burn. So let's get warmed up pretty quick. And then I'm gonna throw you into that first set, which you know, that first set for me is usually kind of a warm up set anyway. So let's just get some space and let's just start moving this dog in place. Here we go. Put those feet together, let's move side to sideline jumps. Forward, backward, if you can hear me, forward, backward. All right, let's long stride, walking lunge. Lunges. All right, let's go with 10 skaters, 10 skaters. And let's Frankenstein after that, stretch it out. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's take it down to our mats. Let's do two walkout push ups. But let's do five push ups each, okay, to get that upper body warm. So take your time on your push ups. Walk down, five push ups, walk back up. And we're doing this two times. As you finish, let's go into some arm circles. Get everybody in arm circles, make them nice and big right now. And take them reverse, go backwards. Make them smaller backwards, smaller. And forwards. And scissor. And go to one side, just one side, nice big. Big circle all the way around and reverse it. Hopefully you all still have that range of motion in your shoulders. And switch arms. Nice, big. Both directions, switching it up here. And let's finish with some side to side lunges. I want these to be more of a stretch though. So you're gonna get into that side lunge, one, two, then come up, go to the other side, one, two, hold, okay? They're not as much of a lunge today as they are a stretch. Push that butt back, right, towards your heel. Feel that good stretch.
everybody get two more. Get one on each side. And then grab a drink or a stretch or whatever you need before we get rolling. Set number one, super simple. We're only doing body squats and we're doing jumping jacks, but here's the structure. We do only one squat, and then we go into two jumping jacks. One, two. Then when we start round two, we go to two squats, and then we increase our jumping jacks by two, so we do four. Okay? I know this can sound like I'm going to um, be asking you to count a lot, but it's going to be really simple. All the numbers are going to be basically doubled. So it'll be one and two, then two and four, then three and six, four and eight, and five and ten, and so on. So basically, you're going to be doing that for five straight minutes. Okay? You're going to get as many rounds as possible, or what we call an AMRAP, in five minutes. I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to do the first and talk through the first few rounds with you because I want to make sure that you got it. Squats increase by one rep. Jumping jacks increase by two reps, okay? It's, we're gonna get a lot, a ton of rounds of this, guys. Timer's going on for five minutes. We're starting with one squat. Just try to start with me. Ready, set, go. Nice deep squat. Two jacks. Two squats. Four jacks. Three squats. Six jacks. Four squats. Deep squats, guys. There's no point in doing them if we're not getting nice and deep. And we're on eight jacks. So you're always going to basically double the number. Then we're going into five squats. Power up, tighten that core. Nice deep squats. So if we just did five squats, we're on 10 jacks. And the next round, we're just going to be bumping up to six and 12, seven and 14. Just keep rolling at your own pace. Most of you on about six, six and 12. We want to get as many rounds as we possibly can. And we're basically just over a minute in. Let's go. Nice work, guys. Anybody up to tens yet on the squats? Maybe not if your squats are nice and deep and perfect. The jumping jacks can only go so fast. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. I haven't even looked at my timer yet. Good, guys. Keep it up. Final 90 seconds. Here we go. How many rounds can we get?
Nice work, guys. Let's go. All, to, all the way till that timer goes off. Good warm up set. Getting our legs warm for sure. Nice work, you guys. Come on, let's finish it out. <clears throat> Final 30 seconds. Everybody moving. Stuff guys, almost there. Time, rest guys. Check out those legs, grab a quick drink if you need it. We'll get into set number two. I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about it. That way we can roll right into it. A lot less intensity here, more strength. This should be an awful combo, especially for five straight minutes. I am just going to ask for a quality push up. okay? That's gonna be your one rep number. Your two rep number is gonna be a half burpee. Um, some people call these something a little different than me. My half burpee, it really just means you're gonna hop those feet up, hop them back. So again, you're only required one push up to start, but two half burpees. Looks like this. I would go to my two push up round. And how many half burpees? Four. That is probably going to get pretty terrible, right? Because we're up on our arms, basically in high plank the whole time. So what I'm gonna ask you as you get tired, because those half burpees are gonna tire you out, is that you give me a quality push-up. So if it has to turn into a modified push-up, that's okay. If it has to turn into eventually a hand release push-up, and then your hop-ups, hop, hop backs, that's okay too, okay? I'm gonna be keeping an eye on you a little bit better on this round. Wasn't too worried about your jacks and your squats, but I want to see quality push-ups. One push-up, two up and backs, basically. Those are half burpees. Then we go to two push-ups and four of the half burpees, all right? I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to let you get as many rounds as you can. I'm going to be asking you how many you get at the end. I'll be curious. Ready, set, go. Everybody, one perfect push-up, two half burpees. I do more of a frog style where my feet come up nice and high and wide. That's kind of up to you. The goal is to hop those feet up close to your hands and all the way back, okay? So don't cheat yourself. Don't do, and it's not a mountain climber. Mountain climbers, that might actually be easier. So nice tight core, quality push-ups, and don't cheat that hop up, hop back. Looks good so far. So far, I'm going to jump in with you and then I'll check on you in about a minute. Let's go. Let's work. Yes, guys, you should be hating this already, right about now. We're gonna get a lot stronger in this set. Y'all gotta suck it up, we gotta get in there. Good, I don't care if that push-up has to go modified. I don't want you to, to see you slack on that half burpee. I want you to get it, that's the hardest part. Who ever knew bringing those feet up and kicking them back would be so difficult. You choose what might work best for you. Is modified push-up gonna be better than a hand release for you? Because you could switch to modified first and then eventually switch to hand release if you need to.
Definitely more of an upper body strength and core set here, guys, but you should have that heart rate up. Those half burpees are no joke. Heart rate should be up. Looking to see who's not resting or not resting too much. Obviously, I want quality here. We'll be super happy to have this set over with, trust me. This would definitely be my least favorite set. You are in your final two minutes. So you have three down, two to go. Let's work. Yes, guys, get them. Come on, you gotta dig deep in this last minute and 20 seconds. You gotta find a way to keep pushing, literally push-ups. Come on, you got this. Think about all that core you're getting in that half burpee. Tons of core, shoulders. Push-up, you're getting shoulders and back. And core. Come on, now you got this, here we go. No rest challenge for this last 45 seconds. Come on, no rest, find a way. Struggle is good. If you have to slow down, you slow down, but try to keep moving. Yes, final 30 seconds. It is strong, guys. Here we go. Come on. You got this. Last few seconds. And rest. Good stuff. Stretch out those arms if you need to. Grab a quick drink. Okay, set number three, guys. I'm going to keep us rolling because I think we're going to be able to get to all five sets plus my bonus today. So, set number three squat jack. So, hands are here. That's going to be our rep one. Then we're going to go into high knees, okay? So basically that's our two rep count. I really debated on whether to do two, um, two per leg or two total, but I want to get you a lot of squat jacks too. So let's just do two total. So what it'll be is your one squat jack again. Let me just go through like two rounds. Okay, then set yourselves up and go high knee, high knee, okay? Then we go to our two but we actually go into four high knees. So it's one, two, three, four. The only way you're really gonna get a lot out of this is if you actually do high knees. So if you're just doing this, it's not really going to give you the cardio um, that I want you to get, okay? And I'm not worried about how many rounds, I'm more worried about getting that heart rate up, keeping it up, okay? Getting those knees nice and high. I think if you get them high, what, what all you're gonna be able to work? You're gonna be working a lot of glutes as well as getting your heart rate up. So same structure. It'll be one jack, two high knees two jacks, four high knees, three jacks, six high knees, and we're gonna keep going. We should probably get a ton of rounds here in five minutes, right? Do not get sloppy on me on your squat jack. Put that, put that bar on your neck, okay? Some of us start to bend here, okay? I'm one of those people when I start to fatigue. You need to put that bar on your neck and sit nice and low, keep your shoulders back. I'll we'll be checking on you, but let's get this rolling. Ready, sit, go. One squat jack, two high knees. And we go to four high knees on that second set. Three jacks. Six high knees. We go to four and eight.
Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. The challenge on this one is going to be for you to move for the entire five minutes. See what you got. Okay, guys, who's still getting those knees up? Not just coming to here, but coming all the way up as high as you can get them. Hopefully y'all are huffing and puffing like I am. Doing good, almost two minutes down. Sit your butts back, weight through your heels on your squat jack, okay? You should not be up on your toes. You need to put that weight back into your heels. If you need to, want to take some pressure off your quads, go ahead and turn those feet out a little bit for your squat jacks. You can do more of a sumo squat jack. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. Nose is a ton of repetition. Oh, y'all got this now. We're down to two minutes. Three down, two to go. Yes, guys. Good stuff. Come on. Let's go. Should be getting up there in some rep numbers. Yes, hang in there, guys. Come on, hang in there. Oh, we're in our last minute. Here we go. Under a minute, guys. You can do anything for a minute, right? Keep it up, keep it up. You're going to get more out of it the higher those knees go, the deeper those squats go. Finish strong, guys. Final 30 seconds. Nice, few seconds here, and time, rest guys. Nice work, quick drink. Okay, next set. Still gonna be a difficult set, a total body set, but it's not gonna be as quick as like our last round, okay? These reps are actually just gonna take us a little bit longer than say high knees or squat jacks, okay? We're gonna do get ups as our one, Burpees as our two, okay? So we start with our one get up, then we turn around however you wanna, however you wanna manage your um, transition is up to you. You'll go into your two burpees, then you'll be back and you'll do two full get ups. Then you'll do your four burpees, then you'll do your three get ups, then your six burpees. I don't need this burpee to be anything special since you guys did push ups already. So let's make it a cardio burpee. I'm just asking that you get your feet all the way back, feet all the way up. Make sure that you stand up all the way, jump and clap overhead, okay? 
So again, get-ups is R1, burpees is R2, same structure, AMRAP, five minutes. Let's get as many as we can. Y'all ready? Get up time. Everybody getting one. Ready, set, go. Two burpees. Then we go to our two get ups. And our four burpees. Work, guys. You feel add one rep to that get up, add two reps to your burpees. Nice job, guys. Let's see them. Some of you a lot quicker at get-ups than I am. I'm wanting to see some, some good rounds here. Good stuff, guys. Two minutes down already. Let's go. Keep working. Yes, guys, good stuff. Probably everybody's favorite set, like it is mine. We are down to our last two minutes. Three down, two to go. Hang in there, guys. Let's go. Let's push. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's push through this. Let's finish strong. No breaks. Final 45 seconds right here. Nice work, you guys. Come on, let's push. Even if you're ready to start a new round, go for it. Final 20 seconds. 
Yes, good stuff. Final 10. Rest. If you really feel like you need to finish out that round, because that's how you are and you like to finish on like an even number or an even round or an even set, go ahead. You can just keep exercising through our break time. So we will be getting into our fifth set now, and then I have a bonus set, which is all core. So this is going to be your last high intensity set, okay? This is where we can kick some calories pretty good because you guys have been working hard and we're near the end. So I need you to push on this one. If you have space, we're going to be doing some side bounds. What that looks like basically, it just basically kind of like a skater. I'm going to be traveling forward like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. If you don't have the space to do that, obviously you can go side to side. Just don't rush through it. Okay. Because the idea is that I'm kind of you're doing some balance, but I'm also moving. I'm trying to take big jumps because I have enough space to do that. Okay. Exercise one, however, because that's exercise two. Exercise one, this one's for Liz. Super jack. So we're gonna go down into our closed leg squat. One super jack and then one, two bounds, okay? I don't mind if you do forward bounds and backward bounds. I just want you to get the rep number, whatever it is. So for example, for me, I might do my bounds when I get to four and I might just go backward bounds, okay? That's up to you. The idea is just to keep moving, keep that cardio up. And obviously I slipped in an evil super jack in there. so. Sorry about that. So it's always going to be one super jack, two bounds. Then it'll be your two super jacks, four of your side bounds, okay? Basically, they're just hops. They're like one leg hops side to side. I'll be kind of checking on you to make sure that you're getting out of it what I want you to in case it doesn't look exactly like mine because of space or whatnot. We're going for five minutes. One super jack, two bounds. Two super jacks, four bounds. Ready, set, go. Super, let's get them big. Big super jack. Two super jacks on round two, and then you're going four bounds. And we're going threes and sixes. Go, let's keep it up. Yes, getting the heart rate up on this one, guys. Use whatever space you've got. If you're just going side to side on your bounds, make sure they're big. Make them big, get a pause. Almost like a skater, if you're just going side to side. If it is like a skater, just make sure it's at least big and it's slower than our traditional skaters. Now my heart rate up. Y'all got this. Take a brief pause if you need to. For example, before your super jacks, because I don't want them to be sloppy. So if you need to catch your breath for five or 10 seconds and then go give me some quality super jacks, let's do it. Nice work, you guys. Hang in there, chins up. Nice, tight core. Don't start bending at the waist. You gotta keep those shoulder blades back. Chin up. Nice work, guys. Come on, hang in there. Check our time, see how we're doing. Everybody try to keep moving.
Nice job, guys. You are under two minutes. Come on, push through this because we got an all core set to finish. So let's move. Let's kick that cardio. Let's go. Start your day right. Here we go. Yes, guys, come on, push through this. Don't give up now, we're getting there. Final minute 10. Let's finish strong, guys. Come on, you can do this. I'm gonna get in there with you, even though I can't breathe. Final 45 seconds. <laughs> 20 seconds, everybody, let's move. Come on, you can rest in that core. You can let that heart rate come down when you were working on that core. Big push here. Come on, here we go. Five seconds. Finish strong. And time. Rest, guys. Quick drink, we'll finish out with a little bit of bonus core, guys. Okay, guys, bonus set, as I was saying, is gonna be an all core set. And instead of um, giving you two exercises that would have been from your butt, and you would have gotten a really quick transition, you would have burned out the core really fast, but then I was afraid that we would get too sloppy towards the end of our five minutes. So instead, I'm gonna have you be moving back and forth from your, basically your behind to a plank position, all right? So your one rep is going to be a V up, okay? I'm looking for good quality v-ups that means we're starting basically in a six inch leg hold right with our hands all the way back and i'm being all the way up all the way back okay so this is what your v-up should look like then you're going to have to transition however you want for me i'll probably just flip over into a low plank and i'm going to do hip drops one on each side that gives me my two okay so then I go back to my behind and I do my two V ups and then I flip back over and I do four total hip drops. Okay. Then we'll go to your three V ups, your six hip drops and so on. Okay. Those V ups are going to get really rough. Okay. I'm not super worried about your hip drops. I just want nice quality side to side hip drops. And we are going for five minutes. This is your final five minutes, guys. I want you to give me everything you got. I want you to breathe. And let's work on some core. Everybody give me a perfect V up to start. Ready, set, go. Let's see them. Oh, they're so pretty right now. What are they gonna look like in about two and a half minutes? Lots of transition. See, I'm just helping you burn a couple extra calories by having you transition from your behinds to your forearms and so on. You're welcome. I know you're all thinking, thank you, Lori, for a few extra calorie burns. Also an extra little break in there between your core. So yes, you can thank me later.
All right, guys, let's see them. Keep it up. I love to see everybody's transition style. Some of you just roll over. Some of you get up on your forearms. Some of you go reverse. How those V-ups going? Thankful for those hip drops, aren't you? I wanted to give you one middle upper ab and I wanted to give you one oblique. So get those hips dropping. You should be dropping those hips till they almost hit the ground, but they don't quite hit. Some of you have a super speedy hip drop and some of you have a little bit slower one. It really doesn't matter to me because you're gonna be in plank. So if it's a little bit slower, that's okay because you're still working your core just for a little bit longer. I got this, we're halfway. Let's see about quality here from here on out. I know our core is starting to get fatigued here. It's starting to be difficult to lift those legs up on the V-ups, you gotta suck it up. Remember to get a full V-up, those arms come all the way back behind your head before the next one. Nice job, guys. Settle in there and work. You're almost done today. Here we go. Yes, guys, come on, let's finish strong. Here we go, final 35 seconds. Doesn't matter which exercise you're on, we're looking for quality reps to finish out. Make sure you're breathing. Looking good, looking just as good as, as, as that first 30 seconds, right? Final 10, here we go. What you got left? And rest, yes, you made it. Good stuff today, guys. I know that was um, some pretty quick sets, but uh, hopefully you got a good burn and some good core at the end.